Just let you guys know, this video is sponsored by Squarespace and I'll be telling you more about them at the end. Good morning everyone and welcome back to, oops, London International War Show. It is demo day. Your bucket of poo hat, sorry. <laughs> So it's currently early in the morning because my arena familiarisation is at 8.15 so this is my only chance to take Jam into the arena where I'm doing the demo so I'm going to ride her in, I won't do a lot Oh no! Oh no! You can tell we're on easy bed at home, I'm not used to seeing shavings all in their tail um, So we're going to have a quick groom, go and take her into the arena I won't do a lot, just walk short, let her see the sights basically from each eye then we'll come back. I need to decide if I'm platting or not. I really can't decide. And then it's demo time. Arena familiarization time. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. She's literally yanking me around. There's a step there we can use. Okay. We've got on the mats and I'll move it for you. I won't fall over, don't worry. Really. Again. <laughs> <laughs> only with that on camera, hey? <laughs> if only we had that on camera. I always camera. need to wear a GoPro on Yeah, imagine. Maggie, bring her over here where it's safe. Maggie, come on. Hang on. She's a bit of a loser. Good she girl. She wants to walk. It's like her de-stressing is just walking. It's alright, because I want to move. I'm never allowed down here till now. Oh, oh Jammy! <laughs> you know, no fun fact. Go on. My uh, headband's the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> Who tackling you? Yep. Um, I'll be changing that before later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, you're only walking around. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, I'm like, <laughs> As well. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I know, yeah. It's probably used to it, yeah. It sounds like this is all new.
perfect. Oh, I seem to be the first one here. Bammy? Jammy? Hello? Hello? <laughs> she says, oh, go away, Han. I'm sleeping. Right, it's your time to shine, Bam Bam. I don't know where your actual owners are, but we will find them. So Hobbs has just asked me for a hairbrush. I said, here you are. Have jammies. <laughs> This, this is the glamorous life of vlogging, guys. Yeah, this is the glamorous life of horses. <laughs> when you leave your hotel room at seven and haven't had a chance to brush your hair. <laughs> Not brushed it yet. No. Oh. And I went to bed with it wet last night oh, at midnight. Oh, Hobbs. Sorry, yeah. I'm trying to hold them. Is that better, Han? That's much better. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. My camera ready now. Right, now, do you need this brush now for your horse's smelly bum? <laughs> right, we're tagging up and we're going down. We've got about 17 minutes. Bam, mummy, ready? You weak pony? So I'm tired. You've already ridden me this morning, mum. Right, we will meet you in the arena. Hello, my name's Hannah and I'm here to interview you today. How do you feel about your day? Scared. <laughs> Scared about what aspect? The nerves have kicked in now. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there, Maggie, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to film them and show you. <laughs> yeah, go and film them. Okay. Then you, then you go and okay, see. Hang on, guys, I'm coming. <laughs> Wait for Meg's vlog. Thanks guys. <laughs> they're already, they're already, they're all waving. Very, very. just getting mic'd nice up. Let's bring I'm gonna delegate to Archie Stewart. I might be better on getting on down there if that's alright. She will, uh, she will take me for a ride. Oh wow. Oh, oh. Once you've done enough, I'll stay here and then I'll get Archie to bring you up and get there. Real, thank you. Intimate. <laughs> is, that, is that meant to go under this little? No, that's all right. That's there, like yeah. That that's all good. Yeah, no, oh. no, you wait there, Megan. Oh, okay, we'll just the He's not that quick, would you? Oh, God. Right, <laughs> do you want me to undo the jacket? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take your clothes off. <laughs> Sorry. If I take my phone out, will it mess with the... Uh, it won't mess with it. Okay. Um, I need to put this somewhere fairly secure. In there? Um, or is that too wiry? No, that's okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that? that's absolutely fine. It's obviously too much now, though. It's called Micah. Okay, that's little. totally fine. Is it? Happy, we're all plugged on. Yeah, testing, yeah, testing. Just One, two, three. Maybe it's had an injury or something. Does it? Do I want that pointing up that much? I feel like, yeah, it'd be a lot of nostril action. See ya. More like that. If you do the shop out, it's fine. Lovely, thank you. Beautiful, thank you. Perfect. Hello, everyone. Right, right, Maggie, let's get you on a pony. Mm, yeah, when you pony. You don't really want to go on your feet, do you? Reckon would like to ride Jam and mm. I'll do the teaching. Mm, I'm not sure she'd like you to teach. Maybe she wouldn't mind riding. Not as so much teaching, but just I'll put fences up and down. Okay, you should be a groom. Jamie, you stand. Yes, please. Oh. We can do way. leg ups. Do you think one day we might wear the lorry boots? I think we'll go on it. Yeah. Hey. Oh, bye. Bye. Sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's Christmas time. <laughs> a little bit harder for my leg me up nowadays. Oh, yeah, jammy. We do no, we don't, do we? Yeah, I've never seen you have a leg up. Why? I can see why. Bad bad, you're 26 year old. Girl. Oh god, I'm scared. You're alright. I'm Maggie's now on. As is Pippa. Just waiting outside. Oh. And he's very excited. <laughs>
I will admit, I was not expecting that warmer welcome. It was so crazy to walk into the arena and have loads of people there watching and clapping. Now, I know you guys aren't going to be that pleased that you're hearing my voice right now, but unfortunately, the XL seems to have the most background noise in the world, and there were obviously multiple speakers for all of the people watching, and it sadly resulted in really echoey, loud audio, which I just can't use on this footage. So I'm gonna do my best to paraphrase Pippa's words of wisdom. However, if you want to hear it directly from her lips, you can go to Horse and Country TV because they were filming the entire demo. Their sound will be good, I can guarantee. So head over there if you do want to watch it all because she had the most amazing tips. Anyway, here's Jam acting like she has never seen a pole in her life before. Little bit embarrassing. Luckily, she got over that quick and started making a really nice shape and trying really hard over those poles. So then it was time for Joe Stockdale to hop on. So he was actually riding one of Pippa's horses, but because doing a 45 minute demo with one horse, can get a bit boring because obviously the horses need to rest in between their work. He really kindly came and helped us out and was another rider and also a more experienced rider. So he jumped a little bit bigger at the end, you know, entertain the crowds a little bit more. So this was our warm up. Pippa went on to say that it's really important when you're warming your horse up to make sure you're bending them, you're seeing how they feel on the day, you're connecting with them. And that's what these lamp posts were for. She kind of used them as an example for when you have things left in your arena, use them to your advantage, bend your horse around them, use the obstacles in your warm up and just integrate them. It doesn't have to be too structured every single day. You can use what you've got. So obviously we then moved on to the poles. These canter poles, I thought they were short for jam and obviously Joe's horse is so much bigger and he did them really beautifully. So it did kind of make me realize at home that I actually need to be setting the poles a little bit shorter and making the horses work a little bit harder and also shorten themselves. I sometimes set up poles that are too easy distances for the ponies and they don't really do their job properly when we do that. So we then get jumping. Now this arena looks absolutely enormous here, but those fences felt really tight towards the corner. It doesn't really look that bad, but I remember coming round to these ones here and thinking, yikes, I've not got much room and when I canter, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Now I'm just gonna to pause to laugh at this. So you're probably thinking, Meg, you could have done with a tiny bit more impulsion there. No, 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 no. This is Pippa Funnel's exercise of jumping out of walk. And I was petrified when she first suggested this because, okay, that's a small fence, but it's not a tiny fence. I literally had no idea if Jam was going to take off, but it was amazing and definitely something I'm going to be taking away from this session because it makes the horses put in so much effort but also makes them think for themselves and means you have to have loads of impulsion from the word go. The whole time during this session, Pippa was saying how when we're eventing and out cross country, you don't know what stride you're going to come up, whether it's a bank or a log or anything. You may have a funny little stride, something might happen before it, and you need your horse to be super sharp with loads of impulsion, even if you've not got the speed. So I'm certainly going to be taking away walk jumping from this amazing lesson. So we then start tying this exercise together a little bit more. You can see the uprights have gone up a bit. The entire time, I'm not gonna lie, I was paranoid about missing jam to a fence in front of all of those people. But thankfully for me, this is quite like a tight and tricky exercise. So it was good to have a little short bouncy canter and nice short reins. Now, although this looks fairly in control, Jam was actually being quite strong and fresh and buzzy. So Pippa then made me do this exercise where you have to stop quite soon after the fence. It was really weird cantering up to Pippa Funnel because she was like, I'm not moving. You're running me over if you can't stop your pony now. So there was quite a lot of pressure. But again, a really good exercise to do to make sure that they actually come back. And you can see she came back so much easier just attempting it for a second time. She's still dancing around a little bit. 
Jam was rather confused about what was going on. Now, another thing I want to talk about, and I haven't included it all here, but Pippa was telling me on quite a few occasions to pop in some circles. There is an example later on. Firstly, my jaw dropped because, oh my gosh, Pippa, I'm sponsored by circles. How did you know? But it was really nice to be told by a professional that actually you don't have to come to the fence every single time if your horse isn't being respectful. So there are a few occasions where Jam was just going up the gears when she wasn't being asked to. For example, if we were trying to trot into a fence, she was kind of just cantering off. And Pippa was like, no, pull a circle, do some transitions, make sure she's listening to you. You've got to be the leader. Now, the difference when Pippa was telling me to do it from when I normally do it is that we were far enough away that Jam hadn't completely locked on. So what I'm taking from this is that I can circle. You'll see here. See, we're meant to trot jump that. Jam said, should we canter? Pippa said, no. Pull a circle, get her listening to you, get her round her inside leg. So yeah, I can circle, but not when I'm scared. It has to be when Jam has not respected it. And you can see there, we had that rail. She did actually just speed up again. Now, what was really nice after this was Pippa was like, that wasn't your fault. So just come round, ride that the exact same. And then we did end up doing it clear. So it was just an amazing session, really, with Pippa in general. I can't stop smiling, even talking about it and watching this footage now. Her insights into how we should train horses are just phenomenal I mean obviously because she's literally one of the leaders in this sport but my goodness I wish I could have more lessons with her because I've seen so much improvement in jam in what was just like 40 minutes of riding essentially it's just crazy so here you can see we're coming to this bigger rocks again out of trot which is a little bit daunting and we cleared it she was much more careful again we were doing the stopping after the fences to make sure we don't rush off oh, she made such a nice shape there. Very pleased. Go, Jammy. how she works with horses that are so good and Jan felt like she was getting softer already like she was stronger than normal because of the atmosphere yeah. so she was already going to be more challenging to ride yeah. but it like, was buzzing in there yeah, wasn't it really that, yeah I was really impressed with how she actually like how much she improved Ooh. with Pippa's situation um, even in this yeah. mindset absolutely no I thought it was brilliant you are a little superstar Yes, you are. She was very good. She was very good, wasn't she? And sadly didn't get it on camera, guys, but... Okay. Guys? Okay, camera's back in the room. Camera was equally as excited. Um, I got Pippa Funnel. I got Pippa Funnel. I was just speaking to Pippa Funnel and she said that Jam was incredibly scopy. Firstly, which is amazing. Um, and I was saying, yeah, like I absolutely love her. Um, I almost want to get a smaller jockey on to take her around her first novice because I get really nervous over a meeting. And she was like, you really shouldn't, like you're really capable. Um, and she wouldn't have put it up if she didn't think I was, so I did a really good job. <laughs> nuts, nuts to have those words quite a pith on his mouth about me. I'm like, she was my absolute childhood hero. I can't tell you how many times I've read her autobiography. That was all I'd take on holiday. Hers and Mary King's were like the two books that I ever read. And then her Pippa Funnel game, I used to play that all the time. And yeah, every every event I went to, do you remember mum? We'd come home and the boys would go, did you win? And then the next question would be, was Pippa Funnel there? Because I used to talk about her non-stop and they were the only, uh, she was the only other person that they knew rode. <laughs> Even nudging you about Pippa Funnel. Yeah. <laughs> Your Your family friends <laughs> like I just I wanted to be her um, until I walked up to a five star fence for the first time so I picked the word and then I thought no I'm just gonna be inspired by her small difference um, but oh, just, 
best, best time ever. So, so happy. Really pleased with Jam and very thankful to Hobby and Hanny for being wonderful grooms. Slightly less wonderful drivers yesterday, Mum. We got here safely. We got here. We Once got here. <laughs> right, so we're gonna go on the hike back to the lorry, take our tack back, and then I've got a meet and greet at 2.30. I'm gonna sort this barnet out. Apologies in advance to anyone who meets me because I'm gonna be a little bit, a little bit flustered and sweaty. Um, but yeah, I'll go and change. Wait, do my meet and greet in my riding clothes. Really should have bought dry shampoo. Right, see you in a bit. Who's ready for the reality of these days? My camera just doesn't want to focus, so just kind of got changed. Here's my outfit of the day, a little green woolly dress. No ties because it's so hot. I'm really worried about being too hot. Anyway, I'm sat on my Premier Performance supplement box and I'm about to do my makeup. We're then going to watch Dan Dell's art do the six bar. So excited for that. Um, and then go over do a meet and greet. So I'm going to show a bit of that on here just because just it's really cool and really appreciate you guys. And if anyone that came to meet and greet and then watching this, I think it's quite fun. Um, so makeup time, let's sort the face out. And there we have it. Makeup, I can't decide hair up or down. A bit greasy. And also, I've got three odd earrings in my handbag. Not a single pair. How silly is that? So I might go and see if I can find some earrings and treat myself a little Christmas prezi. Right, so it's meet and greet time, but we're not going to be able to get Meggie. Ready? Meggie? Meg? We're going to get Meggie. No idea. No idea who I am. The ultimate disguise. But also completely branded because so I'm not going to her a disguise. Or do I have to return it later? <laughs> if you want to keep it. I mean, I'm going to scrapbook this whole time, so. <laughs> we definitely need it. So she's got some disguise so that we can get through the shopping. But surely people are gonna people are gonna look and be like, why is she why is she got Honestly, let other people dress you. Silly sausage. I'm an ordinary girl. We're gonna get you over like that. Thanks. Right. I'll come and find you because if I walk with you, I'm gonna be a giveaway. Should we wander? Oh, right. yeah, oh, come on then, let's Hi, Christ, we're going. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mummy. Hi, I'll come and find you. Jam's like, no kisses. No kisses, I don't, I don't know, like, know who you are. <laughs> It. Meet and greet over oh, was very. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's the meet and greet over, who knows? Um, yeah, amazing meeting so many lovely, wonderful people. But now it's time to pack up what has been our changing room um, and go and get jam bam because we, you might notice we're back in the, the air bunker part. So are you sad, Mum? I'm sad, sad I couldn't leave earlier. <laughs> I'm sad, it's been great. And well, it has been, it's been amazing, but hard work. Yeah, she was the one who's the keys. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging because I'm a bit annoying doing this, aren't I? Right, Laurie is all kind of packed up. Jeanette's just doing a little jigsaw puzzle there for Real us. Things. And we are... Ready to go, Jam Bam! She says, yes. no, actually, I'm ready to go and do something else. Ready? Yeah, she says, actually, is this going on in the main arena? Uh, anyway, yeah. guys, I'm going to end this video here in London, because it seems fitting ending here. It's been the most ex amazing experience, I can't believe. We've actually come and have a lesson with none other than Pip Funnels. 
just wonderful. Honestly, the biggest thank you to every single one of you for making this possible. So many dreams have come true. And a big thank you to you and of course, Honey and Hobbit. Hope you enjoyed watching, guys. I live, laugh, and love you. Have a Merry Christmas. This might be my last few up before Christmas. Oh. Right. Should we get you home? Yes. Bye. Bye. Merry Bye. Christmas. Bye. I've been waiting all video for this tea, guys. So let's talk about Squarespace, who are the wonderful sponsors of this video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with fully integrated commenting systems that support threaded comments, replies and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorise, share and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tags, and ship items across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. So if you're thinking of starting your own website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Elphic to get yourself 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A big thank you to Squarespace for kindly sponsoring this video. Focus. Focus. Is that focus?